Thank you for logging in to view the latest update on the art market brought to you by Winston Art Group. I'm Simon Wills, Associate Director of Business Development. Since we currently can't meet with our friends and colleagues in the usual way, we thought we might use this moment as an opportunity to reach out in a new format through an online series where we share our insights into what is happening in the art market and where we think things might be going. Winston Art Group is open for business during this time, ensuring the safety of our clients and colleagues by offering remote desktop appraisals using high-res images and information in compliance with USPAP standards. Our advisory services and collection management teams continue to work with collectors on sales and new acquisitions, as well as managing and maintaining the value of their important art assets. Winston Art Group is the leading independent art appraisal and advisory firm. At the heart of our business model are three core values, independence, confidentiality, and expertise. We are independent of the auction houses and galleries, and the advice and services we provide our clients are objective and our goals are fully aligned. All client information is handled in a proprietary and confidential manner with security protocols that are above industry standard. Our specialists are all at the top of their areas of expertise with a minimum of 15 years of art market experience, covering up to 75 categories of important personal tangible assets, including fine art, furniture, decorative art, wine, jewelry, classic cars, and many more. In today's presentation, Jack Muir and Charlie Manzo, Senior Director and Director, respectively, of Advisory Services for Winston Art Group, will speak about the current state of the market at the auction houses, art fairs, and galleries, and the major ways the coronavirus is impacting those activities. They will also discuss some of the ways the auction houses and galleries are facing these new challenges, some potential bright spots in the market, and where things might be headed in the near term. Hello, everyone. This is Charlie Manzo from the Advisory Department at Winston Art Group. Thank you for joining us for this art market update. In the last two months, as the art world moves online, we have seen solid sales and the most reported sales in the market are for artworks in the range of $100,000 and under. Increased efforts in technology and digital marketing during the last two months have shown good results as auction houses, galleries, and art fairs continue to make a strong push with online sales. Sotheby's has reported $68 million in online sales since the start of the pandemic. Auction houses have announced that the May New York sales have been moved to June and are planning the next live auction sales for the week of June 22nd. These sales, of course, are highly anticipated and will be watched very closely as this will be the first real gauge of the current state of the art market so far this year. Specific online strategies which have proven to be the most successful are smaller, focused, or curated online sales and exhibitions, more frequent sales with less lots, this has been especially successful for watches and jewelry, and gallery online viewing rooms where content is key. That is in the form of curated talks and market analysis alongside viewing artworks online. It's important to keep in mind that according to the 2020 Global Art Market Report, online sales were estimated at $5.9 billion in 2019 and saw only a 2% decline after five consecutive years of continued growth year on year. So even though industry-wise, the art market was late to the online party, many auction houses and galleries have been developing infrastructure and software for online platforms for several years. The last few months has certainly fast-tracked this development and caused many companies to double down on this arena. Hello, this is Jack Muir, Senior Director of Advisory at Winston Art Group. Since the beginning of this pandemic, we have been working closely with our clients and the auction houses to ensure a smooth consignment process amid a continuously evolving landscape. Through this, we have identified key challenges that you and your clients should be aware of during this transitional phase. First, the typical auction procedures are impacted by the logistical hurdles, which include delays in authentication and an extended timeline for cataloging works and producing condition reports. These are further impeded by the limited shipping solutions available. While we are noting some ability 
for national shipments, international shipments continue to be halted. This also has a ripple effect on authentication if the relevant authority is based outside of the United States and requires in-person review of artworks. We are also expecting continued limitations with regards to in-person inspections of artworks at the auction houses ahead of their scheduled sales, which may affect a client's ability to act on bidding opportunities. To attend to this, we are already seeing changes to how auction houses will market their sales, and we expect this to become more commonplace in the coming weeks and months. As part of this, there is a clear need for expanded digital strategies, which may include social media marketing, digital-only sale catalogs, and updates to proprietary online bidding platforms, which we expect to see expanded to all sales. As we continue to monitor these changes to the auction market, we are carefully negotiating consignment and contractual terms that provide greater control to the consigner while allowing flexibility to the auction houses to market the pieces with different and unique strategies. We ultimately remain committed to staying on top of these changes and future challenges for you and your clients. Thank you for viewing our art market update. Look for more presentations by Winston Art Group in the coming weeks on additional subjects, including the wine market, the jewelry market, as well as our insights and suggestions for best practices in managing your collection during this time. We would love to hear from you. Please feel free to send an email to any one of our 10 global offices or call us with any art management questions you may have, either on behalf of yourself or any client with a collection. We are always happy to provide complimentary feedback. You can also follow us on Instagram and LinkedIn. We wish you health and safety and look forward to seeing you in person again soon.